Hey everyone, this is Karen. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to tell if your citrine is real or fake. Citrine is a beautiful golden variety of quartz that can be faked fairly easily. But don't worry, I'm here to help you spot the difference in today's video. So please be patient and watch till the end. Genuine citrine ranges from almost completely clear to deep honey colored or even slightly smoky, while heated citrine often has a deeper, more vibrant hue with an even color distribution. Heated amethyst often shows colors that are more intense at the tips of the crystals and fading toward the base. If you see colors that are at a darker yellow or orange, most likely it's a heated amethyst instead of genuine citrine, which means if you found your citrine has a white base, then it's a heated amethyst. As far as I know, 60% of citrine in the market is heated amethyst, um, especially in jewelry. And then a small amount uh, heated with smoky quartz or clear quartz with radiation. The color is more likely um, toward yellowish or lemon yellow. For fake citrine, we generally refer to imitation with gloss or resin or melting quartz. The color is usually bright orange yellow or darker yellow and the clarity is perfect. The raw formation of citrine is a quartz, like clear quartz, and it will not form a geode like amethyst. If you have a citrine geode like this or this, then it's heated amethyst. And if you have citrine in a form like a scepter, it is also heated amethyst. Although this is not the genuine color from citrine, it is indeed natural crystal. Genuine citrine should be relatively clear and free of inclusions. And here's the third of it. Citrine bracelets. And here's the weight and the main stone citrine color yellow and it's natural. While fake citrine may have small bubbles or streaks, um, if the citrine is imitated by glass or resin and there will be air bubbles imitating chases inside. If you find the pyramids like this or some streaks like this, it is heated amethyst. But since heat treatment is accepted and um, recognized in the crystal industry, when this kind of citrine is sent to the jewelry testing center, the certificate will only indicate its citrine bracelet without stating it's heated. And it's natural crystal, we cannot say it's fake because there's no other substances added during the heat treatment. And the good thing is, if the citrine has a white base like this one, it will only indicate its crystal strand and the main stone crystal, color yellow plus white, and it's still natural. 
a citron like this that has color bendings in some bees. It is a very common thing in genuine citrine. Even in high quality citrine. The main difference is that glass or raisin citrine are less durable than a genuine citrine stone. This means it's easier to trip or break. Glass is also less hard than citrine, making it easier to scratch. But be careful when doing scratch tests as they can damage your crystal. Speaking of this, um, you may have questions like how about the citrine spheres, towers, and the large carving islands or the bangles selling in the market, are they genuine citrine? If you find those items with nice vibrant color or good clarity or in a certain size, I can assure you that most of them are not genuine citrine. Because of the rareness of citrine, um, it is not possible to massively produce as spheres, towers, even a bangle. We will only be sent to make as small jewelry pieces like um, the bracelet bees or the small pendants or the gem cutting stones. Um, I hope this video was helpful showing you how to spot fake citrine or hidden citrine. Remember, having a genuine crystal is always ideal, but heated citrine is okay to get if you don't mind. Um, by the way, some fans have been asking for a jade pendant with 18k yellow gold. How about the one I'm wearing? It's a green nephrite pendant and it's absolutely at an affordable price. Check it out at DIYNotion.com. Okay, thank you for staying with me today. I'm Karen and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more crystal information and DIY jewelry ideas. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.